Hello everyone, my name is Shai and today I'm reacting to ATEEZ's long-awaited return. Uh, I'm pretty excited for this. Uh, I actually normally, with the ATEEZ, I don't watch the teasers or the performance teasers because I want it to be completely new, but I just couldn't help it because I was way too excited for this and I realized that this song, um, Bulnu Ia, Bu uh, I cannot pronounce it Korean, I'm sorry, um, or Fireworks, I'm the one, they spoiled this, I believe, at the end of Thanks. Um, I think it's their, it's pretty much their thing um, now. So I'm pretty excited to see how this sounds because the performance looks amazing. Um, the music video looks amazing. Obviously, there's gonna be more theories and whatnot. So I'm excited to get into this. So without further ado, this is ATs with fireworks, or I'm the one. Here we go. Excited. Also, also ATs always set the bar high with their comebacks. So I'm really excited. Another song. This has to be another song. <gasps> Motherfucker. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that guy in the way. He was in, um. An was it Answer? Was it Answer? Hold 
blood. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to process this. <laughs> um, that was the answer, right? He was an answer? What the f my dudes? First of all, this choreo. I want to talk about this choreo. They said it was harder than Wonderland. And Wonderland went hard. Um, and then I see this and I'm just like, do they even get any rest? <laughs> That because like this looks super super intense. Um, but AT is as always killing the game. Um, I know they're gonna be on Kingdom. Um, that that show is gonna air on April first, and I'm pretty excited because from what I from what I've seen everywhere, like whenever AT does like go on music shows and whatnot, a lot of idols from this is hearsay. Um, a lot of idols like to watch the performances. So obviously with AT being known as really damn good performers um it's gonna be interesting to see how they're gonna one up themselves um because honestly when it comes to hard hitting like choreo hard hitting like songs i don't i with the lineup because for kingdoms the lineup is like was it sf9 the boys 80s b2b icon on and off no 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 that, that was rise kingdom Think that's it. Kingdom lineup. Kingdom line lineup. So the boys, AT, straight ah, stray kids. Icon B two B S F nine. Okay. Yes, I think that's that's the official one. Um, but I think the only this is just me. I'm a fan of all the all the guys that are going on on Kingdom. However, I think the only competition in terms of choreo, choreo and whatnot, um, in terms of like the hard hitting songs, the very creative, I, I guess you can say creative, is I think I would want to say is Stray Kids. Like those two are definitely close with each other in terms of like their songs, their choreographies and everything. Um, that being said, I did not see the boys rise, I believe they were on Rise Kingdom. Um, and I, I can't remember who was on Rise Kingdom, but I do, I did tell myself I was going to react to those, but obviously I never did. Now I need to. Um, but yeah, so it's going to be very interesting to see this competition, especially because, man, B2B, <laughs> why the, f I'm sorry, I need to, I know this is an ATs video, but I just need to rant a little bit about this because why the fuck is B2B a kingdom? Like it's literally, they're what, they're... They're how old are they now? They're like nine years now, nine years, and it's like the members that just got back from the military. Um, so it's gonna be very interesting to see them go against. They're basically the grandpas on the show. I'm sorry, I love them, but they're they're, they're basically the grandpas on the show. But anyway, going back to eighties, uh, Buloya, Bulnolia, Ida, Sorry, my Korean is very bad. I still can't read the like, like these kind like the the character that's like. A, t a small T. I guess this is the best way you can describe it. I can't really read that one yet. But this song, very interesting. Like I said, they swelled it in the end of, I believe it was Thanks. Um, they heard a little bit of it, and I do believe the song a little bit at the end is also probably another track um, that they might release. Um, it looks like this is a bit of a continuation, obviously, of the story that they've building since debut. Um, as to what the story is, is I, now I don't know. I think they're in an alternate reality. If the, if the guy in the white mask is there, then it's the, the alternate reality with like the holla holla, I think, people. Um, that's what I want to think. Um, but 80s. Uh, mm, I forgot to mention Mingi. <laughs> the, the fact that they had a radio that said, uh, like, fix on, um, and they're just holding it while looking at it. It's just like, mm, I miss Mingi, uh, but I hope he's doing well. If you don't know. Um, and for some reason you don't know, because I'm pretty sure people who will click on this is maybe 80s fans, um, maybe some of my subscribers, who knows. Um, with Mingi, he's been on a health-related hiatus due to, I believe, anxiety. Um, he is getting better, but, you know, still needs a bit of adequate rest. Um, he did manage to do some of... his voice is still in the album because they managed to record it before he went on his health-related hiatus. Um, so hopefully, um, he is doing very well. Hopefully he's doing well. Um, I think I've mentioned before my previous AT's reactions that Minky is my favorite member. Like, 
I mean, all the other boys have charms, but like Minky was the one who caught my eye the most and still has my eye. Um, still has my eye and my, my heart, basically. Um, so like I said, I hope he's doing well, hope he's resting enough, and hopefully we get to see, you know, this team of eights soon. So anyway, eights is going hard as always. Very excited to see this comeback. Very excited to see them on Kingdom. Um, because it's going to be very interesting to see how they can one-up themselves. Like I said, kind of based on like how I know the, the teams on the, on the show, um, I would think that their only competition, like in terms of like, I guess performance-wise, I would say would be Stray Kids. Maybe. Who knows? Like, you know, like I said, I think it was the boys who were on Rise to Kingdom. I know they had some spectacular performances on there, if, if, I'm, if, I, remember, if I remember that lineup correctly. Um, and um, I haven't seen those yet. So, you know, some of these groups can can give us a surprise and give ATs a run for their money. So it's going to be very interesting to see them on Kingdoms and to see the rest of the, the teams on Kingdoms. Um, but ATs, wonderful comeback as always, always hard hitting. This choreography looks hard. <laughs> just That's the best way I can put it, it's just hard. Um, so it's, can't wait to see more for ATs, see how this story continues and whatnot. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.